Good morning, everyone. Thank you so much, uh, Dan, for the opportunity to speak. And I'd like to thank Melody, uh, Shannon, uh, Megan, the group. Uh, they're doing a fantastic job. And this is our first opportunity to speak to this, this, uh, this audience. As uh, Dan was saying, we like to showcase Canadians uh, Canadian companies who are moving in the right direction. So this is an opportunity for our own um, website and Facebook to showcase Canadian success stories as well. So let me just go through. I only have a few minutes, so I'll go fairly quickly through the slideshow. <clears throat> but I'd like to also say our president, Evan Lebovich, is with us as well. So we'll have, if you'd like to talk to us personally, Evan, can you just stand up to show who you are? Uh, um, also, we'll be at the ISOC uh, courtesy booth as well throughout the conference. Okay, so this is a, a bit of a mind map for you on where the ISOC uh, blogosphere exists. Okay, our mission, it's same as every single chapter, is to promote the open development, evolution, and use of the Internet for the benefit of all peoples throughout the world. And again, we have solid objectives to foster, advance, and enable and empower. Think of yourself within this equal space. Uh, we'd like to invite you to become members of the ISOC community. Okay, right at the center, the bisecting of policy, technology, and development is where the Internet Society exists. Uh, with much of the discussion that has happened at WICKET, the, the forthcoming Brazilian summit, uh, the ICANN discussions, I think we can play an extremely important role. And I believe Canadians have done an incredible job in representing us in terms of the internet governance space. So uh, how are we working? Well, we operate, as we said, we bisect the policy standards and education, and we believe that we can become a thought leader in the internet ecospace. Uh, again, there's a lot of opportunity and you have to look at where, and we're appealing to people here that are experts, uh, people who have an opinion on different things. We have subcommittees within the organization. If there is something within this ecospace that you believe that you have something to say, we'll be doing webinars, as I'll talk about, and also our video series. And so we are looking for people to interview in our uh, online uh, live stream chats. So look at this space here and see where you can fit in. Uh, again, uh, some of the awards, and, and again, that's one of our uh, aims is to find Canadians to nominate for the Internet Hall of Fame, uh, as well as the Jonathan Postal Service Award, uh, the Applied Networking Researching Prize, and besides that, there is uh, community grants, ICT innovation, and individual fellowships. And unfortunately, the individual fellowships are not for Canadians, they're for third world or developing countries. Okay, so here we have, we uh, exist within the North American Bureau, uh, up at the top, uh, ourselves and ISOC Quebec, and there's a number of American organization uh, cities that are also ISOC chapters. Okay, so we have uh, currently in the ISOC Ecospace 55,000 individual members, 90 plus global chapters, 130 organizational members, and again, your membership to ISOC gives all of us a powerful voice. Okay, so how can chapters play a role to, we want to engage and energize members throughout a, a common global vision. We are doing technical workshops and training classes. Uh, we uh, have been participating with the CIRA Canadian Internet uh, Forum uh, and will this year in 2014 as well. Uh, educational events we're planning as well as typical policy uh, issue advocacy. So this is uh, one of our pictures that we participated when we first started the road towards becoming the Canadian chapter. Uh, we started in Prague, Czechoslov the, uh, Czechoslovakia, uh, last year. So let's just give you a small little overview. As, uh, as you all probably know, uh, Canada is a digital leader in the global economy in terms of internet uses and innovation. Uh, our nation's internet economy is expected to grow by 7.4% through 2013. Canada's internet economy accounted for $49 billion in 2010, roughly 3% of our GDP. That's compared to our G20 peers. Canada ranks ninth, but our ranking is actually slipping. 
Canada is a digital leader in the global economy, as we say, but it continues to lead the world both in terms of internet usage and innovation. However, the downward trend in Canada's digital ranking is continuing and our reputation as a digital leader is in jeopardy. So, Canada is a highly wired society, we all agree. We are early adopters of the internet and broadband technology. Canada has one of the highest internet penetration rates with nearly eight out of 10 Canadians online. We have long winters. Uh, the vast majority of those are daily users and Canada is among the top for trial of countries globally. So according to the Comscore study in 2012, Canada is the number one spot at 45 hours per month, almost double the global average. With the number of online hours increasing every year, Canadians are spending more and more time on social networking uh, and entertainment sites, uh, YouTube, Facebook, streaming of videos. A uh, number of them are actually uh, attributing to the popular content online. Okay, so according to um, CIRA, more than 2 million domain names have been registered in, since 2012. .ca is one of the fastest growing top level domains in the internet ecospace. What about our broadband speed and cost? Well, broadband speed and price are a nation's digital currency. And while Canada ranks within the top 20 countries, according to 2011 OECD data, there's room for definite improvement. It would consider that Canadians spend more time online than anyone else. Uh, quick map, and by the way, these slides are uh, obtainable from our website, and that's internetsociety.ca, so don't feverishly write down anything I'm saying. Uh, again, this is a, a quick map of our speeds compared to other countries. Okay, so what are our concerns? We, um, when we first started up uh, as a chapter, we did, a, Evan did an extensive survey of existing members and things that are really true and, and keen to Canadians is the issues such as digital divide, remote access, internet costs, and media mergers. Okay, so according to the Western Ontario study recently in March 28th, uh, recent research on internet access demonstrated digital divide highlighted, and in this recent report, they talked about higher internet usage, urban versus rural. We're talking in uh, income di uh, differentials, higher income Canadians using the internet more often, and seniors falling behind. These are probably just common knowledge for most of us. Okay, so let's talk about Canada chapter. A again, um, this has been a long process. It has been a dream for over 20 years to have an actual viable national chapter uh, in Canada. It took over nine months for us to actually work cooperatively with ISOC headquarters uh, in, in joint cooperation with ISOC Quebec and also getting the feedback and sometimes criticism from other chapters in order to move through our bylaws and get incorporated. And in part, Chris Tassett uh, has been extremely helpful with our incorporation, a uh, fantastic lawyer from Canada. Uh, in April 2013, the chapter has joined the ISOC community as a recognized chapter. So, okay, uh, we want to invite you to become members. We invite you to join. First of all, you have to go to the internetsociety.org, and that's where you become a member. Uh, apparently, there's over a thousand people in Canada that has, have joined uh, ISOC, but they can choose which chapter they would like to belong to, and you can specify which chapter you would like to belong to, and we ask you to join the Canadian chapter. Uh, we'll be doing uh, monthly uh, webinars and Google Hangouts. Uh, so we're looking for people who have an interesting story to tell. We'd like to interview you and uh, broadcast uh, various different topics. So as I was saying, uh, contact at internetsociety.ca is my uh, email address. Uh, the website is www.internetsociety.ca. And that's another way to get us is through our Facebook site as well. And that's it then. Are there any questions for Glenn before we go on? Is there, do, can we get the mic? Where's the handheld? Oh, um, okay. So, could, could you run it, maybe? Let's, uh, why don't you come on over here, Glenn? 
Okay. Yeah, I think it's on. Uh, I'm from Quebec. I'm wondering, um, can we be members of both ISOC Quebec and ISOC Canada, or is it one or the other, or um, how does that work? And do the two organizations work together, or are they uh, fairly separate in terms of uh, their en endeavors? Evan, did you want to add to that? You, you have to specify which chapter you like to belong to, so you cannot be both. They have their own uh, board, they have their own charter. Uh, again, we work very cooperatively together. Evan? Okay, that's pretty straightforward. Any other questions or comments for Glenn while he's here? What are the fees, was the question. At, at present, there is no fee, but that will change over time. <laughs> Sign up for the demo now, yeah. the beta period. Okay. Anything else? Okay, thank you, Glenn. Thank you.